Hey guys, 95 Watt Snaps here, and today Jen bought me one of my friend's entire Funko collection. I am buzzing because there is some crazy cool pops in here, so let's do this. Alrighty guys, yes, Jen decided to pull the trigger alongside me, of course, with my persuading, to buy one of my friend's Funko Pop collections. I have three videos to break this down into because I think there was something like 36 pops in her collection. They were all older pops and I'm just so, so excited because there's some crazy, awesome pops in this collection. My friend had great taste, so a big thank you to my friend Dawes for offloading the collection to me because there's some awesome pops that are going to enter my collection because of the generous offer and the awesome agreement we came to. So without further ado, let's get into them because there is a lot of pops to go through and just buzzing, absolutely buzzing. Okay, so as I said, a lot of these pops are older and you know, the condition varies just because of their age, which is super, super common and super, super fine. We completely like, we're transparent about everything. Um, but yeah, the first one we picked up a part of the collection is the Batmobile. So this is the Rides Pop, of course, from the classic TV series. Again, a very older pop. What year is this one from? 2014, guys. So this thing is absolutely incredible. I love the old school Batman pops. Uh, let's have a look at the Batmobile, guys. Absolutely insane. Very, very cool piece to have in anyone's collection. I do have a couple of TV pops, so I'm thinking about keeping this one, but I know my cousin does like the Batman classic TV series pops too. So um, well, I'll, see, I'll see how he feels about it because it is a really, really cool piece. I absolutely love that Batmobile. It's so iconic, so classic, you know, classic TV series, but yeah, that's a pretty cool one to start off with. I believe it's the only DC pop, I think, that she had in her collection. But this is a really cool one. Definitely, I'd be pretty confident to say it's vaulted. Uh, but yeah, that pretty awesome way to start. I was very, very happy to see this amongst her collection. Pop that one there. And I brought, um, brought out Nick's little gift, the uh, turntable. So maybe we'll have that going, showing off one of the pops while I'm, you know going through the others. So the next pop amongst her collection was Ronda Rousey. This is a really cool UFC pop. One of the older ones, I believe. Yeah, it's from series one. It's number two, of course, so it does indicate that it's pretty early. The UFC line's been a bit quiet lately, um, I've noticed, but pretty cool to have one of the OGs. Ronda Rousey's a pretty popular character. You know, she's made her appearance in the WWE as well. So uh, that one's a pretty cool one. Very basic pop too, which I love, the old school ones. And again, in pretty good condition for its age, 2016 pop, it looks like. So that one's pretty darn cool. We'll pop it here. Look at that, spinning action. Loves it. All right, the next one, I think a lot of people love this pop. It is a very, very cute one. It is the Gremlins and it is Gizmo. So this one is super, super adorable from the movies line. I just noticed something. It says Gremlins on the side. Is that normal? I've never seen that before. No, because it's Gizmo, and it has gremlins. Guys, is that a normal thing, or am I just uh, tripping? But anyway, this is Gizmo. Very, very cute one. Absolutely adorable. There it is in there. I really, really like this one. I think it's a cute pop. Not something I'd probably keep in the collection, just because, you know, I don't collect the gremlins line, but it is a cute one. And I mean, if you're gonna have a gremlins pop, you've gotta have Gizmo, so that is a cool one. Very adorable, but yeah, let me know about that. Uh, I've never held one of these pops or seen these in, my, in person, so I don't know if that's normal, but pretty cool. Okay, the next one has a bit of, I'll say a bit, but it's a fair bit of damage, but that's okay. It is the OG Evil Queen from Disney. I know a lot of out-of-box collectors would be eating this one up if they could, because it's a pretty cool one. Love the box colour, but yeah, it is quite banged up. It's had a bit of a hard time, but that's okay. 2012 pop. On the bottom, it says it there. That is pretty cool. Very, a very iconic and notable character from the Disney world. I love the apple in her hand. Yeah, it's pretty picture perfect. The old school Disney pops, as simple as they were back in the day, are still really, really awesome. And Funko put a lot of effort into them. So I'll have to fix her up inside the box and um, tidy up the box as much as I can. But, but yeah, it's pretty cool to see you don't see this pop every day, that's for sure. And to go alongside the Evil Queen, it's something I'm pretty buzzing to have a look at because Again, we don't see these pops every day. It is a Disney Store logoed Snow White. That is pretty sweet, guys. So that Disney Store logo, very, very tricky to come by. That is for sure. You don't see that anymore. So the normal Snow White that you get now won't have that 
uh, Disney Store logo. Um, it's pretty cool because it has the original Minotaur sticker on the bottom. $15 pops used to be here in Australia. So in 2012, which is what this pop was released in, it was $15. That's pretty crazy to think about now that we get them for $20 at retail. But yeah, this pop for box condition wise, you know, it does have some dings. But, you know, for its age, it's a pretty cool pop to have a look at and see in person. And just like I said, again, the OG Disney pops, as simple as they were, were still amazing for their time. So that's a really, really cool one to have a look at today. And um, really cool to see the Minotaur barcode on the bottom. So it's probably one of our bigger pop culture stores in the city here in Melbourne. Um, I like going to Minotaur. It's really, really cool to look at. And sometimes they have older pops, which is awesome. Uh, but yeah, obviously this one was bought back in 2012, so that's pretty, pretty awesome. Alright, now we're kind of getting into the good stuff. A lot of the stuff I'm definitely going to keep. I don't know where to start with, guys, but let's go with this one first. I've always wanted this pop in my collection, so I'm pretty, pretty excited to see it here today. And it is Bumblebee from Transformers. One of the earlier releases, I think, of the Transformer pops. Uh, but yeah, Bumblebee there is awesome. I love him, he's my favourite character. I mean, a lot of people probably say that too about Transformers, but uh, he's how can you not love Bumblebee? He is absolutely awesome. So this is a 2014 pop. It's got some weird thing covering the barcode. I think I'm going to have to leave that there um, just because I don't want to damage it. And it's staying in my collection anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. But yeah, there's Bumblebee. Super awesome and stoked that this was amongst the bundle of her collection. Okay, so the next one I have here was... Probably Jen's favourite. I think it definitely is Jen's favourite. It is the Flocked Scooby-Doo. So this is the OG Flocked Scooby-Doo. Absolutely awesome, guys. We are buzzing to have this in the collection finally. You know, Jen's a big, big Scooby-Doo fan. And uh, to have this Flocked little buddy in the collection is so, so cool. 2016 pop, again, showing its age. Uh, but this is in immaculate condition. A big shout out to my friend who's kept this one looking pretty, pretty darn good. So very, very happy to have this one. Is it my favourite from this lot today? Maybe not. There's some cool stuff still to come. But I love that it's the flocked variant. When I saw the picture, I was like, oh, maybe it's just a normal one. But when I saw it a bit closer, it was flocked. And as soon as, yeah, I think this is what super sealed the deal for us. Even though it's not the most, um, I guess sought after or valuable one that's going to be shown off but yeah it's just really cool to have a scooby-doo flock i hope you guys are liking the little spinny action that's going on here i don't often do 360s because whenever i want to show a pop up closer i usually take it out of the box i don't know how many i will do with this haul just because there are a lot of older figures here and i don't want to damage the boxes too much by taking them in and out of the box you know so we'll keep this spinny action going it's doing the job i guess um, but anyway, let's move on. Let's move on to the next one. What do we got? Uh, let's go this guy. I was super, super happy to see this in here. And it's got an old EB Games barcode on it, which is pretty cool for $16. It's pretty crazy that Once Upon a Time pops for $15 and $16. But anyway, we have the Glow in the Dark Lumiere from Beauty and the Beast. Oh, I love this one. I've always wanted this one in the collection. It's on the wish list. So very, very happy to see it here. It's a glow with the big glow in the dark sticker. I love that. It's so huge. <laughs> but there we go. That is Lumiere. The green Disney box is awesome. Love this guy. Probably one of my favorite characters from the movie. So yeah, really, really cool to have. There he is, Lumiere. Ah, this one's I'm buzzing about. But yeah, as you can see, guys, $16 EB Games, the old sticker. Um, I don't think I'll take it off as well just because it is... Well, it's, but it's pretty cool to have it there kind of as a novelty to say, yes, this is a legitimate pop. We bought it from EB Games. Um, and I don't want to damage what's underneath, so may as well leave it on there. But guys, very, very happy to have Lumiere in the collection. All right, so as he spins, we'll pull out... Ooh, the rest of these pops are all Disney, so we're keeping a bit of a theme going here. Next one... Um, uh, guys, I, I'm going to say this about every single pop, but I'm super excited about this one too. Um, this one is awesome and adorable, and it is Mike Wazowski. <laughs> we have Mike Wazowski from Monsters University, so this one is pretty cool. Um, I love this movie. I know everyone prefers the first one and whatnot. I love the first one too, but I really enjoyed Monsters University and like, I don't know, I thought they did a really good job with it considering. Like, uh, 2013, it's a 2013 Funko Pop and uh, she has kept it in pretty great condition too. So that is a big plus. Uh, he's so, so cute guys. Look at him with his little hat. Too adorable. Absolutely love it. This line is a really fun line too. We got Randall and Sully. I don't think they ever made a Randall in the original pops for the first movie 
but I have heard that they might be making more for Monsters University or for the new Monsters thing that's coming out. So we're probably going to see more characters of these. And hey, that might increase the value of this pop, which is pretty cool. Um, although I think this one will be sticking in the collection because I love Monsters Inc. So yeah, that is Mike Wazowski from Monsters University. If you haven't watched the movie, do. It is fun. It's not as good as the first movie, I'd say, but it's still pretty good in its own way. So I'd watch it if you can. But yeah, that's Mike Wazowski. <laughs> All right, the pilot is stacking up. So thankfully, we only have two more pops to show off or else... Um, they might all just fall over and die, but they're going okay. All right, so we'll end on probably my favorite of this part of the video, part one of three. So be sure to stick around because two more videos of all this stuff will be coming and I'm probably going to drop it one after the other. Uh, but yes, yeah, so the next one we have is a 2014 Disney pop. I'm not sure if this one's vaulted. I think it probably would be, but it is the original Simba. So this one is super cool when he's a little pup. He's a young one. Um, so that's Simba there. Very, very cute. Love this one. Number 85 in the Disney line, which is crazy because that's super early days. Um, and as you can see, the Lion King line there. I'd love to complete this one someday just because I do love the original pops. They're really, really cool. Again, this one's in pretty decent condition. Um, so hats off to you, Doors, for looking after these really, really well. So yeah, Simba is the second last pop I want to show you guys today. All right, last but not least. This is probably, yeah, I think this has got to be my favourite of the lot. This is one pop that's definitely been on the wish list. I've said that about a couple now, but it is on the wish list, so I'm very, very glad to tick that one off and show it off to you guys. It is none other than Scar from The Lion King. OG Scar, guys. Look at him. He is absolutely badass. I love Scar. I'm a sucker for villains. So this is a really, really cool one to add to the collection. He is absolutely epic love 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 this pop it is again 2014 so we're going back a fair few years so this is a seven year old pop and i'm not seeing too much wrong with it which is phenomenal maybe just his back corner but guys that is absolutely awesome oh, love 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 this i was super hyped when i saw this it was a part of her collection and yeah I, i'm really really happy with the decision that jen made alongside me i convinced her a little bit but i'm very very happy that we went ahead and bought the collection off her uh, because it definitely added some amazing pops to the collection because of this and uh, like i said there's two more videos to come we've gone through one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so there's still 25 pops to show off to you guys and they're pretty cool so yeah guys this was kind of the miscellaneous uh video there's two more videos and both have pretty much a theme so stick around subscribe like this video let me know what you think of the haul so far which one of these pops would you want the most if you were buying the collection like which one would you be most excited about let me know and remember as the wise luck dragon says never give up and good pops will find you see you guys